How you doing? My name is L. David Stewart, to some of you know as Nigel. Now, I was called out for uh, ice water challenge. All right. So here's my challenge. Some of y'all probably are going, boo, why is he dressed up and why ain't pouring no water on myself? I'm going to tell you why I'm not pouring no water on myself, because it's stupid. From what I understand, you get called out and you have to get ice and water and pour it on yourself. Now, the reason I'm laughing is those of you all know me know I'm a smart ass. I've just fulfilled my part of the challenge. But let's go deeper for a minute. All right, if you don't do this, you have to donate X amount of dollars to the cause of the choice or the, or the person who's choosing. Now, at first I was all like, yeah, I'm finna go do it. I'm finna go buy some ice. But I guess the problem with knowing is you have to kind of stop and catch yourself. Ignorance is not bliss. More people are willing to not donate and embarrass themselves they just go ahead and write it out write the check or whatever all right so shouts out to the my girl tone to called me out love you like a sister this is definitely not a diss this is i guess a, a teaching moment like how many people are willing to do this and catch hypothermia and jump into some water to prove a point all right now today's a brisk day in chicago june it's about 60 degrees, it rained earlier. So I'm gonna pour ice on me, ice cold water, to prove what point. At what point do we have to realize we gotta stop being fools because someone thinks it's a good idea. Now, for those of you who don't know me who are watching this, anyone will tell you I'm one of the biggest assholes you'll ever meet. I'm all for fun, I'm sarcastic, I've done a lot of things that trust me, dig it up. It's true. I guess this is one of the moments, if I may quote Steve Harvey, motherfucker for what? I am not about to dump a whole bunch of ice water on me for someone's pleasure and entertainment. I've never been a stripper, I've never been a Chippendale. I mean, to some people when I skate, I'm like that. Shout out Suicide Kings. But in this instance, no. No, no, no. Um. I just think that we can do more with that, what we can do. Oh yeah, ice water challenge, ice water. Hmm. Um, am I a punk? No, I mean, I've done worse. I've been through rituals of initiation and different things, so trust me, I've had to do way, way worse. I guess I just expect more. Like, at the end of the day, all these people are doing this for laughs so you can get wet and then not donate. I question and I push people to ask how many people still donate anyway. I just I just can't do it. Like I just saw an article today online, like people catch a hypothermia from this. Like, again, motherfucker for what? Like I just can't do it. Like I woke up this morning and I was just really inspired to do this because I just see too many people doing dumb stuff. So am I calling you dumb if you done it? Let me be clear. No, I'm not. I'm all for fun. I mean, I do things that are probably stupid that if you knew you'd probably be like, okay, that's just stupid. So to each his or her own and I'm all for fun but me personally I just really had a moment like I am not about to go buy a three pound five pound ten pound bag of ice oh uh, for two three dollars you know how much ice people have bought in the last week let's talk about that for economics all right y'all put money in somebody's pocket all right and then each of you picking different causes to donate why don't we just pick one cause so everyone picks Susan G. Coleman here, USO here, cancer here. Why don't we just all do it together? So, I raise a challenge to anyone seeing this. If you have done this, I want this to go back to the person who originated this. I want you in your city to get at least 1,000 to 5,000 people to do it. And if everybody does it, everybody in each city pick one cause to donate from. That's change. If for me personally, I have no problem donating money to any cause. I have donated time, money, service almost my life to help other people in, in different causes. So those who know me know what I'm talking about. 
But there just comes a point when you just can't do something because everyone else is doing it. So that's where I'm at with it. Um, so again, this is my ice water challenge. Again, ice water. Mm. Oh yeah, this is really cold. Hold on, it's real ice. Mm -hmm. See that? Yep, real ice. So, with that being said, um, if you were looking for me to douse myself with water, I am so, so sorry. If you want to see me in a wet situation, please come to um, Skating Rink because I sweat there. Um, if you want to see me sweat and get moist, um, I have a show coming up. You can find out at Refined Gentleman Music, refgenmusic.com. Um, if you want to debate me on the subject, I will give you my email, nizematrefinegmusic.com. Now, some people are like, dude, you, you're, you're being too serious, you're taking it too far. Eh, probably. I guess that's the curse of being a thinker. When you know better, you do better. Um, so for me, who I'm going to call out, I'm going to call out everybody who's done it. How about that? Now, if you are determined to one-up me, go ahead. Um, but see, the problem with me is, see, I understood the ice water challenge. And from what I was told, you get some ice. You get some water, you make the ice water, and you put it on you. So, just to show you I'm not a bad sport, ice. It's pretty fucking cold. So, whereas I can wipe off with a napkin, and I have a filled thing, I want you to think about this video, think about every fad you've done. Did I plank? Yeah, I did. I ain't gonna lie, I plank. I know some professional plankers. Shout out to my people in Atlanta. They know who they are. Have I done other things for fun? Definitely. But I'm not doing it for the vine. And I damn sure I'm not finna pour five to ten gallons of ice cold water on me for your pleasure. So, again, I challenge everybody watching this. I challenge a thousand to five thousand people in each city to get together and do it. And if five thousand of a thousand to five thousand people time one hundred donate to the same cause, now that's worth doing. So with that, my name is L. David Stewart, aka Nizem, and I drink this water for you. That's some high quality H2O.